final day of vacation, so I uh, saw this song on Guitar.com did a uh, interview on Hollywood Vampires, a new Alice Cooper band that he put together, and um, got some great players on it. And so I looked them up on YouTube and found they did a version of this Spirit song. So I, of course, wanted to learn it because it's really, I think, a great, great song. So I covered both versions here in this lesson. The new uh, Hollywood Vampires, which I tuned down a half step. And of course, it's got a lot more distortion to it. Um, I found the P90s worked real nice, real gritty kind of a tone for the spirit. So um, we'll go off on the lesson. So hope you enjoy. Okay, to start this song out, we play a B7. And the first time he hits it, he only hits it once. And then you're into, you're doing, referencing a D to an E. All right, and you're just playing the fourth, third, and second string. And then you go backwards, E to D. Now on its two hits. So that's a little nuance of it. See, he does, he just slides, slides down the E. We're going to grab a G, A major, back to our B. This time it'll be a B major. Again, uh, Randy California likes to do that slide down in this song, so it's kind of prominent in it. And um, that's really the rhythm of the main rhythm of the song and the verses. The other rhythm I want to talk about is underneath the lead. Um, what they do is when they come into the lead after I've got a line on you. <laughs> vamping on an E chord so you want to kind of give it a down and up and then up strum twice up down and then he kind of holds it so just listen to it you'll be able to pick that up if you don't want to play the lead and The next thing when they come in, he turns his volume down uh, about halfway. So you get more of a clean tone, but uh, that's the other thing he does. So we'll cover the lead now. I am using an MXR flanger for this, and here's my settings. Um, seemed to work out pretty good, so thought I'd throw that up there for you to see. Lead at speed, and then we'll slow it down. Okay, the first part of the lick, we're going to start out on the second string at 12 and go to the first string at 14 and bend that up half step. Then we hit it five times. Last time you release it to 12 and then hit uh, 14 on the second and back to 12 on the first. So we have this all together. One, two, three, four. Okay, the next we're referencing an, an E7. Uh, we're only gonna play the uh, dyad. We're gonna play the 14, uh, 15th fret of the second string, 16 on the first. So we hit that dyad twice and then we're going to move it a half step back, hit it, and slide it forward. Alright, 
the next chord we're just playing it's like a D four okay I'm on the fourth string at 12 second string at 12 and um, the third string at 13 actually I think he hits it um, either way all together what we have so far one two three four we do uh, repeat the whole thing what we're going to do is take it to the middle or even the uh, rhythm pickup so we have both going that's what I think it sounds best at we're going to hit 14 on the four string and we're going to go to a double stop on the second and third string at 12 back to 14 on 4 and then we'll come down to a double stop at 14 on the 3rd and 2nd back to the uh, 12. Alright so he does that three times and then he holds the last 14 for four hits. So all together one, two, three, four. So um, that's pretty much the whole song. But as promised, here's the uh, new Hollywood Vampires version. <laughs> distorted sound I'm using this new pedal with these settings um, this is a by freaking sick it's called a 30 30 volt overdrive and I've got it set to 30 volts so it gives you a lot of headroom with the distortion so if you turn your guitar down you still you clean up a bit and you still got a little grit there um, I found it on the vintage setting and turned down the bass a bit and um, everything else you know around 12 2 o'clock here on the uh, tremble Peter Thorne does a really great overview of this pedal and uh, he's what sold it to me frankly um, and it really has some great tones in it so I'm not much of a pedal guy but this really gets it for the Hollywood uh, vampires version they're tuned down to uh, E flat so tune all your strings down a half step and you'll be in tune with the song now the way the song starts out with obviously a lot of distortion and what I think he does is he hammers into an A and swells his volume up. So we're going to hit the sixth string pretty hard. Turn your volume up and then come into an A with a down, up, down. And a B. So that's the biggest, uh, one of the biggest differences in the song that they do. Uh, the other one is obviously, like I said, you got a lot of distortion going on with this. They're going to do the same licks, just like if you were playing the song in standard tuning. 
but what they do is they hit the first time and then from your D to E twice backwards and then just once so that's another difference they don't hit that um, B seventh twice they're hitting it once in the first time through So that's another difference they do. Um, and let's see, let's talk about the uh, lead. This, the lead rhythm is the same. You're just vamping on an A underneath. Alright, the lead is a little bit shorter as far as... So there's only about three hits. Alright, same lick as we did earlier, and then they're going to go, and then I'm pretty sure he comes up to this E7th, does it back and forth, alright, so you have this. So, alright, so what he does there then, that little lick is, we're going to hit 14 on the 4th string, back to uh, the 12th on the 3rd string, back to 14, and then 14 on 3. And then, something different, he ends it on the D note there on the 12th fret of the 4th string. So you have this. So we'll do that all together slowly. with the chords when they come back in. So with your G, A, and then D, you're going to go up to G. Alright, and that's pretty much the lead part. Um, again, there's a lot happening in this song. I'm sure there's a few guitarists jamming on it because they have so many in this group. But um, that should give you an idea of how they're doing it a lot heavier. So I hope these versions uh, help you and you enjoy it. Take care.